Globalization is not new. For centuries, societies have traded goods, services, skills and ideas in order to generate wealth and prosperity. Over the past three decades, the effects of globalization have intensified, both influenced by and allowing the emergence of high growth economies as major players, digitalization, and the further financialization of our advanced economies. Globalization has generated many benefits for society. One billion fewer people live in extreme poverty than 25 years ago. Consumers can access more goods at lower prices than ever before. New technologies and digital platforms have facilitated social and cultural interactions and given people access to new types of services. However, its benefits have been unequally shared. Public policy and international economic cooperation have not adjusted sufficiently, nor moved decisively beyond a focus only on GDP and productivity. This has impeded globalization's capacity to generate fair outcomes for all. Job losses have been more widespread, region-specific, and longer-lasting than expected, with labor markets struggling to adapt to structural transitions. Productivity divergence between high-performing and other firms, developments related to the financialization of our economies, and market concentration in some sectors have all increased income and wealth inequality. Uncompetitive practices by some governments and companies distort the rules of the game. Finally, the dark economy, including tax avoidance, organized crime, and the financing of terrorism, corruption, and illicit financial flows, destroys confidence in the global system. Citizens in many countries are understandably worried about the impact these changes will have on their future, as they are already having an impact on their present. To address the new problems of today's globalized, digitalized world, we need new solutions. We need a new social and economic model that preserves globalization's gains while harnessing the promise of the fourth production revolution and tackling the root causes of inequality. We need a stronger and more open global system where governments, regions, cities, citizens, businesses, and international organizations work together to deliver real results and greater well-being for each and every one. For over 50 years, the OECD has been supporting member governments in weathering shocks and crises, acting as a forum in which to discuss common challenges and find new solutions. In the past decade, the OECD has continued to open up to new members and partners and to new ways of fostering growth and development beyond GDP. Through our new approaches to economic challenges and inclusive growth initiatives, we have helped our members and partners devise new policies that put people's well-being at the center and ensure that all members of society have equal opportunities to contribute to and benefit from growth. Today, the OECD stands ready to support this new era of transition by working with governments to develop and implement policies that empower citizens and regions to adapt to the inevitable changes that technology will bring, notably through initiatives targeting education, skills, SMEs, and labor market improvements. By driving forward a level global playing field and advancing the international agenda on the digital economy, taxes, competition, corporate governance, responsible business conduct, anti-corruption, and illicit trade. By reinforcing cooperation to better coordinate domestic and international policies and standards, including through reinforcing the OECD's role with fora such as the G20, to ensure that policies are effective and fair. Today, it is more urgent than ever that we forge better policies for better lives for everyone. This demands bold action in unprecedented times. Are we ready? Will we be up to the task?